This is an FFG Top 10. I'm Paul Burry. And I'm Tang Gamer. This FFG Top 10 is going to be games with the worst controls. Slash laggy. Yeah. But we count lag as bad controls. You want to start? Yes. My number 10 is basically the Hot Wheels franchise. Everyone I can remember has had stiff controls and we have struggled with in every single video. Alrighty. My number 10 is Sonic the Hedgehog from 2006. Not only did that game give me a headache, it had so many glitches that I had stopped counting. My number nine is I am bread. I am bread. You see, each of the corners <laughs> the of, of the bread, bread had a different <laughs> button. And you had to move yourself. And we, no, we got across it. It was easy to get across. And I have to get yourself in the toaster. We spent like an hour trying. Yeah, I, I don't think, we, did we ever get in the toaster? I did later. Okay, because I think It was by accident. I finally quit. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I I, just I was above it and I sort of dropped and it landed perfectly. I was like, yay. My number nine is Resident Evil. You might know, be like, wait, wait, M game? Oh, yes. We actually messed with this a little bit. You have to rotate before you can move a direction. I don't know why Capcom thought this was a good idea. I don't know why the industry thought this was a good game. It's horrible. Not only do you have all the bad content, but the controls are so miserable. I'm thinking, I mean, I'd rather play a game like Night Trap, which is even worse. Well, not worse, but it depends on your perspective. It's They're both equally bad. So anyway. My number eight is the uh, Beyblade games, because other than maybe one or two in the franchise, every one of them you launch, and once you do that, you have minimal control or no control of what's going on. And when you have minimal control, it's really just aim in a direction, hope for the best. Yeah. And that, before I go to my number eight, there were so many games I wouldn't include. I mean, we could have done like a top 25 with this. Easy. That's why but, I did franchises. Um, my number eight is Sonic 3D Blast. If you remember that on the Genesis, I think they also put it maybe on the Saturn. Oh, it I was that, that, that little that. tiny Sonic oh, and they tried to do this 3D man. and it was a horrible 3D. Yeah, that gave me a headache. Uh, it, it was like, to me it was like, uh, like Marble Madness done with Sonic the Hedgehog. And that, and that Sega Classics on the GameCube, I think they had it in there. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. it is miserable. Well, it's okay, because uh, if you thought that was miserable, number seven, Project Cars, left equals right, right equals left. <laughs> Who thought it was a good idea to invert the controls? Yeah, and not always, either. It's not every time, but sometimes you go to a curve, and if you went, like, too far right, it started going left. What do we, the Cars movie? Um, my number seven is Spider-Man on the Genesis. If you haven't played this game, you can probably find it for a penny. I mean, it, it, it really has no value. It's just bad. My number six is the Young Justice Legacy, I believe is what it's mm -hmm. called. Young Justice Legacy. You, you hit it. You hit a A to attack and... <laughs> Wait for five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, the enemy puts his head back. Oh, wait, no. Here comes my guy. Yeah, oh, oh, was... oh, now he swings. Now the guy's standing back. It was so broken. Oh, there's the damage. Yeah, it was so broken. My number six is Project Cars. He's already discussed it. Um, yeah, moving on. My number five, Sonic 06. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Sonic and Shadow had okay controls. What we're talking about is Silver. He's a hedgehog. He is the slowest one by far. He sort of walks. His sprint is a walk. Yeah, and not only that, but that game also had like confusion about where to go and what to do. And it was just like, sort of go here. And you're like, where is that? Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, my number five, Superman on the Nintendo 64. That would be my number three way up That's there. Your, yeah. What's your number four? Suspension Railroad Simulator. <laughs> can't Another make laggy a, can't game. Can't make a laggy bad control game without <laughs> Suspension Railroad Simulator. Oh, oh, but it's not the Wii version. Oh, it's the Wii U remaster. Because they thought it needed to be remastered. God, I'm not sure what they remastered. <laughs> the I hate to see the maybe. original. Uh, my number four is Bubsy 3D. Bubsy on the Super NES and Genesis was decent. Bubsy 3D was their attempt to go into the 3D realm, and it was absolutely miserable. Just trust me. I don't even need to talk about my three. It's Superman 64. Superman 64, yeah. It'd be... Uh, what would you call it, Somersault Man 64 when you yeah, first played it? Yeah, it it's... Yeah. I, I, uh, you see, I started, I got like the first three rings, and then for the rest of the video, 
I think I think uh, the people who did the Capcom Resident Evil did the same controls as Superman 64. Yeah. You know, while you're flying, you have to sit there and, and you adjust see, yourself. Aqu a Aquaman way. is actually a bit better at controlling, even yeah. though you had trouble with that. I actually yeah. did. And a lot of people the thought, fighting sucks. But. A lot of people thought Aquaman was horrible. It was it was okay. It was it was kind of lower end, but I wouldn't say it was like Superman 64 or something. I, I never got the fighting mechanics of Superman 64, so I can't compare those. Yeah. My number three would be pretty much any Virtual Boy game. I'm sorry, but if I have my face covered and I can't see my controller and I'm not familiar with the controller, and plus the games really did stink in the controls. I was about to say, what, what There was the, lag. I mean, the tennis, did you, yeah, you remember the tennis? I It'd be like, tennis. you had to, you had to wait for when like it was too late or sometimes it looked too early to actually get a hit. It, uh, just Virtual Boy games, their controls horrible. My number two is one that we haven't really talked about, we haven't gone uh -huh. over. It's Surgeon Simulator. You ready for this? PC, iOS, console. Every single finger has a button. Wait, isn't that the, the same company that made Iron Bread? Did they make this mm -hmm. one too? Yep. Yeah. yeah. You see, so you're trying to pick up a, a scalpel, and if you don't know the controls, you're doing this. <laughs> oh, I got the scalpel. Uh, oh, well, well, I gotta hold it like this. I'm trying to cut out the liver. <laughs> My number two is E.T. on the Atari 2600. Didn't um, know about the controls. I knew it was a lack of direction there. Well, the lack of direction, I, mean, I guess it, it, you could say it controls okay moving around. The problem with E.T. is on the Atari 2600, it, is, it seems like you, every time you try to go somewhere and figure out what you're supposed to do, these guys come and grab you and take you to the first screen. So you can never seem to make it very far without someone grabbing you. And you're, you're constantly like running from these, the these world, men in black. The world record for that game is either 30 or 45 minutes. Now, that's an accomplishment because we didn't even know the game could be beat. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> What's your number one? Speedrunners. It's a PC uh, game that has like uh -huh. 10 different buttons and it's meant to be a multiplayer on the same keyboard. So imagine this. Four, four or five, I think it has up to six people. Six people, ten keys. Well, how many keys are there on the keyboard? Is there 60? Is there 60 where you can actually be comfortable with them? Okay, playing solo. I had to remap everything because it was like WASD, okay, I'm fine with that. Some key way over here, some key way down here, over, it's all around. My fingers don't stretch far enough. Yeah. My number one is, we already discussed this, Young Justice Legacy. Um, that game was so miserable. I'm not sure how the company made it. It's still in business. I mean, it, it's just horrible. Not only well, we did there the lag. Well, we about the console version, just the 3DS. I went, well, yeah, the 3DS. I went through multiple, I've heard the console version is bad too, but we haven't played it. I've done the 3DS version of this. I went through multiple battles and it was just, it was painful. Every, not, not only was it all the lag, but it was just poor level design, poor poor characters. I mean, it was just like, oh my goodness, this is just bad. It's all the thoughts I Halfway have. Halfway through development, uh, some guy was divorced. Somebody quit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, something happened, I don't know. But I think it, it was divorced or something like that. Anyway. Well, uh, on that note, since uh, this is a list of failures, let's get to the good part of the video. We want to thank everyone for watching, so I hope you have a wonderful day.